All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung and Arnold Allen. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Jung is seven years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Now for the official Ladies introductions. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. The main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Arnold Almighty Allen! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting in a Seoul, South Korea, the Korean Zombie, Chan Sung Chung! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my Ready. Ready first. All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Chad? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides
tries to attack. It is a sight to behold. That was a thudding leg kick. There by Chan Sung Jung. Just missed with the left there. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab... Oh, and there's the end. Potentially a critical takedown here. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, DC, half-guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Just over two minutes to go. Close guard. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. He's gonna attack on bar here. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. And they both stand up. Well, he's connected on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Let's get going. Beautiful strike. And he caught the kick. Jung going for the takedown, nothing doing there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, what? you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Whips on that offering. Duffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he lands a huge kick here. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches. That really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Well, he 
He has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice. And they separate. Takedown defense holds up. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by the Korean Zombie. And look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Immediately gets the underhook. And they separate. Real sneak body kick. Just unable to quite find that range. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, if you're sick of us dropping that word hook, don't shoot the messenger because he throws and more often than not he lands just like he did in the previous round. Found a home for it again. Here. Found a home for it again, and if I'm him, I'm continuing to go to the well. His opponent has not shown an ability to stop him. 58 total strikes have now landed for Chan Sung Jung. Just below 50%, by the way, 49% the accuracy rate on the strike attempts against the Korean Zombie, Chan Sung Jung. Oh, huge block! Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Spinning back fist. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, collar tie. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obvious... All right, so high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Ninety seconds now to go in this one. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, hook to the head by the Korean Zombie. Five single collar tie now. Left hand punches the clip. Ooh. to the body by Chan Sung Jung. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Twenty seconds left. Slips the shot. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key 
to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut range. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Pretty good right hand. Takedown defense holds up. Beautiful kick. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Watch the shot. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice, but a takedown attempt. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. The Korean zombie gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? There he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. The Korean Zombie's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Back up again, you can't hold a good man down. Lands a big elbow there. Jab hurt him a little bit. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. And Chung's got the full mount. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. All oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Might 
might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Spinning back fist. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand. This fight's going to be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his one thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Chan Sung Jung. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. Able to check the high kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick land. Just misses there with the left. And he that comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Back and forth we go. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice loop with punch. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Whoa! Oh! He's out! Oh! Woo! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Arnold Almighty Allen! Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.